Hello there. I'm sorry about the background noise. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner or something. So this will be the Soul Saturday. It's a bit in advance because I did have time to do this now. So I did. This is the room for the coming week from then Saturday. Actually, it's not yet, but it could be good to be prepared maybe. So the room I picked, I could have a picture up of it, of it or I could even do it in a video, which I didn't. But Let's see now, where was it even? It was the spiritual warrior rune, but it was upside down. Sometimes this actually is used by certain Nazi groups or like a similar kind. Um, that's, that's a little bit strange in a way actually. And um, that's strange in so many ways. But anyways. And the way we got it now for this coming week was reversed and maybe I have to come back to that though because I saw two documentaries this week about the Swedes who were even some of them okay this sounds very negative um, I mean the whole focus but they were one of the one of them were one of those last people who protected Hitler in this bunker and yeah, all kinds of stuff, and and the horrific stories and their nightmares that were going on, and um, I still think at times, though, at least as long as you don't get overwhelmed with just negative things, like harsh things, that couldn't be healthy. But aside from that, it, maybe it's good to know about things. Yeah. And and uh, I guess especially the stories and uh, what they perceived beforehand and their enthusiasm and thinking they were part of, you know, the most um, uh, elite soldiers. Actually, I watched those two. Now, when I'm beginning to come back to watching, you know, TV soon in a couple of days, I actually haven't watched even the play before the uh, this. Um, I'm sorry, I'm drifting very much now. But you know this uh, about the uh, Waffen Swedes. They, they that was on kind of TV, but through the computer. I haven't done that this month back. I haven't watched TV uh, even uh, at the computer. But now, since I did that, then I went on to actually watching this um, Anthony. Oh, what's his name now? You know that. Um, you know they they train those elite soldiers. They were out also on some uh, on the ocean together a group. I don't know if you you are. What is his name? I don't know how I forgot it. But anyways, they have um, there have been two of those programs that I actually watched. But anyways, um, it's understandable though how how that can be um, exhilarating. I use that word a lot now, don't I? Um, it's kind of a great word, I think. <laughs> it's a positive word. But, you know, to feel that you're part of something where the gray just would uh, participate and so on. So you can just imagine those young boys, and some, some were really young boys. I mean, in Germany, they were like eight, nine, ten, like that small. But even those who are like 17, 18 are quite small. And and so on. So, yeah, many of those, uh, or some of those, not actually so many, like a couple of hundreds went there from Sweden. And, yeah, I didn't know any, anything about that before, actually. Mm. I'm sorry about this, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tewas is still the room that I got here and I will just read the text first and it seemed like I will ramble I didn't intend to but I, I maybe I should try to even speak softer this is ASMR I forget that I go on like my normal voice just okay here we go the danger is that through hasty or ill-timed action life force leaks out or is spilled away if an association is short-lived, do not grieve. Know that it has fulfilled its span. Matters of trust and confidence are at issue here, and with them the authenticity of your way of being in the world. So reverse Tiwas calls for examining your motives carefully. 
Is it self-conquest with which you are concerned or are you trying to dominate another? Um, are you lusting after outcomes or are you focused on the task for its own sake? You will find the answers within yourself, not in outside advice. So this is also an outside advice, so go in words, listen to yourself. When you consult the runes, you are consulting the self, the bigger, greater self. An action appropriate to the spiritual warrior and the self, we obviously have it within us as well. Actually, there was something, um, now I even don't recall, but there was something I was going to talk about in my previous video that I forgot. I mean, I didn't, like, conclude my my thought thread there. Um, yeah, I think it was about this, yeah, I started out with the whole Wicca and the not harming anyone and all that. And then I started on, on all, all kinds of things, what comes in the afterlife, so to speak. It's a continuing <laughs> continuation going on, but yeah, oh, that changes. Um, but uh, the thing is that that the, the reason is think there is a difference. You cannot actually go around not harming, but you can can avoid to harm with intent. Yeah, as well as. Uh, the difference, I think, anyways, personally, if it would be uh, about self-defense or self-preservation, that would be a different story. Yeah, actually, I don't think... Uh, it's so beautiful, the upside meaning of this too, but I won't... I will skip that for now, but this is the room for the spiritual warrior, yeah. I will just not talk about that because, um, yeah, that's not the meaning for today, but I hope we will get it. <laughs> and if anyone wants a, a personal free rune, maybe I will have time. Now I seem to have lots of time today, so um, at least some hour um, more than I want. But, um, yeah, so I don't know how it looks like on Friday, I mean, tomorrow and Saturday, so, yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. Therefore, I thought I will do it now then, when I'm at peace. <laughs> and, um, yeah, but also, yeah, so I think uh, there were some things to say about that, but I just uh, won't even try to remember more um, but here also about the confidence actually I, I, I've talked about this before but I have a really really hard time to trust um, but it doesn't mean that I don't like show trust in a way because I as far as I am able at least am very open and trusting in, in a way um, but, but actually actually, it's not about trusting it's more like I am open <laughs> Just I have trusted a few times in my life there are very few and um, and also when I've uh, almost trusted or wanted to or so that may have uh, um, not been so good or it have shown that that was absolutely wrong sometimes uh, yeah, so, but the only thing we need to know is who we ourselves are, if we are authentic and are true, yeah. Um, and uh, that can be really m misinterpreted, also misunderstood, but that doesn't matter. I mean, if people perceive you in a certain way, it doesn't really, I mean, of course it matters, but that's beyond the point. We know who we are, and that's the important thing. And also when it came to these things I talked about, the coming, we pass over and what happens and so, um, I can't say that I know, but I have my my experiences of communicating with the dead, or the so-called dead, they are certainly not. <laughs> but uh, And, uh, and uh, since I do it every day, that's my normal, uh, my normality. And also when it comes to my pagan practices and everything, 
I communicate with Jesus also every day. So I mean, the yeah, to me th that doesn't really. That's no conflict, as I said before. So, anyways, and I have <laughs> decided to keep this this quote from Nietzsche. I hope it is Nietzsche, but I think I've heard it before, so it probably is. But um, uh, yeah, I think uh, there would be more than and also in that. Oh, no, I think not so good singing, but still, I just was so drawn to the lyrics suddenly. I love Cornelis, though, but uh, uh, they made so much sense to me right now, and especially the part where uh, about there is some, they, it's in Swedish though, but um, it, it's like, I'm a, I'm a dubious figure, it's, it was uh, translated, I went into Google Translate to, <laughs> to try to... Uh, translate the lyrics beneath there for you to know what I was thinking about but anyways um, how you can easily be seen as one and it's so disturbing it's so very disturbing when you try to talk to people who don't really understand I mean you can really see and you can see it but you can also hear it in their uh, very uh, um, like idiotic questions or their responses and so and it's like tiresome <laughs> to a degree I can't even describe when they don't understand better you know and uh, and they don't so why why even be, oh I raised my voice so why even be bothered I mean that's where they consciousness limit is <laughs> they can't be they can't understand more so obviously but it's still quite disturbing sometimes when you when you are seen like that they don't know, and you know, but you are like, yeah, <laughs> you are like um, seen as being more or less nutty. Um, um, but yeah, I think it's way worse for those who have been seen like they are within the frames of the normal. I've never been there, so so to me it doesn't matter it have never matter, mattered maybe I actually when I was younger would have mattered more if I would have been within those frames I think I wanted really to stretch them uh, now I don't care much to, but but I would like people to at least consider you know to not uh, just draw those um, although I understand that that's nothing I can do much about probably but it's disturbing and tiresome sometimes to realize how someone cannot even hear you or see you or anything because <laughs> they are so blinded by their or own like um, yeah you know preconceptions of who who you are and that you have lost your mind you know with it, it uh, to some people it actually is enough if you just have it believe in these things with mediumships and such and you are just totally out there obviously to them yeah and uh, why well <laughs> what can you say but it's, it's uh, surprising to me also especially when you get these really really strange um, when people talk to you as if you cannot understand <laughs> you know <laughs> anything almost like normal general concepts you're just mm, <laughs> how do I who, how, how do I really talk to this person then <laughs> you think I mean how can you ever connect and and have a conversation that's like impossible yeah at the time I mean I, in, I almost got into Swedish there again and I also think about that with my little nephew he's like so smart he's um just a year old a little bit more and um, he's so smart he he really is uh, attentive and actually I wonder <laughs> no I shouldn't go too far in about him maybe he'll find these videos later sometime I have to be careful yeah uh, yeah I won't mention that though there was something mm, I, I've seen a lot of things around uh, this little boy but anyways um um well he is very smart and he uh, if you show i mean you see how he really dives in f 
full wholeheartedly into life. I want to touch every little thing and and taste them. <laughs> and you know, when you show him something, how to do things differently or something, he his little fingers. Even since he was he was just a couple of months when I did this in uh, you know what is called a spider song, where you do with your fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, probably child children's song, and. And his little fingers were just doing it. And he's so, when I was, uh, you know, doing like this with my fingers. Uh, also the other day. And he he was just, um, he immediately tries with his small finger. He does, he does it exactly right. But he still didn't get how to, you know. Yeah, I, I just think, okay, I'm, I'm a little bit biased when it can come to him. I, <laughs> he's just the greatest. But he's, all, he's very smart, I think. And also when he points at things and says there and and you describe to him, sometimes I see that he thinks we are s- sort of stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's how I sound. But I mean, he, he I just come to think about him now. But, but you know, I don't even know if he's going to begin to speak very soon because we seem, st- I think in his mind, maybe we seem too dumb to even talk to sometimes. He looks at you like, oh, oh what? <laughs> and you describe, for example, he had met this other babies and so, and then there was a, a painting with a baby, and he pointed at that one. Um, and we say that then, that that's a painting, kind of. Or that was round, so so. And he just, uh uh-huh. Because uh, he was not interested in that it was a painting. <laughs> it was the baby on the painting, obviously. I don't know. This may not make sense to you at all. But, um, yeah, just that. When you cannot... But there are others out there who will understand. At least uh, you can... I mean, you never know, actually, if you would truly understand anyone else or not anyhow. And uh, sometimes you're <laughs> sadly mistaken... That is also something that I've seen a lot, which is tiresome. And now I just talk about tiresome stuff, but and how people can get so surprised when you kind of prove that that it's. I mean, I, I understand uh, skepticism, but if people cynically uh, decide that they that you are just not right in your head <laughs> or something, that's uh, yeah interesting I mean yeah especially those who have more to do with people and so they should actually probably learn better I don't know yeah yeah. Um, but as I said uh, to me it, it brings like a sort of a smile to my face as well because I mean or I mean yeah <laughs> yeah what can you say Gosh, I just keep on saying nothing and saying what can I say. It doesn't. It didn't happen like anything like that recently. It's just that I came to think about it somehow. I think it was said something here about that. Yeah, about authenticity and so on and so on, trusting confidence. And it's good that people question things, though. I mean, yeah. And it's. Uh, I mean, I don't see everything as a psychic, and so obviously you don't see everything that goes on in the world. Luckily, you could you will be would be very very overwhelmed, but um, uh, yeah, as I said, when when there are those you really thought understood what you said, and you realized no, not this person didn't understand it either. Oh no, it's just it's so disturbing. They have their own, they go on their own thread, and you're they're totally deaf to whatever you say. They don't hear it. No. They hear it, but they don't believe it. And those could be the same persons who, who stated that others, you know, hear but don't believe. And yeah, uh, never mind. Um, yeah, it's this quote also made me go on off on that tangent. Um, but to me, my my ways of being authentic is uh, just towards myself mainly. I, I wouldn't want to be anything else. It's not for anyone else's sake. It's for me. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, sometimes you prob- 
probably fool yourself as well. Um, yeah. But when it, when it comes to trust, also as I said, began to say there, because you don't always uh, see everything, obviously, but you can have a sense. Everyone can have a sense. But there, then sometimes I just know that things aren't fully truthful. But uh, in some instances, I can't trust that person, anyways, because I know who they, they their like their person. I mean, I know who they are, kind of. And also, if people have good intents, that's a um, huge plus in my way of viewing things. Um, but still, I mean, wouldn't it be easier? But maybe not. I don't know. We all maybe want to hide things. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I should stop. I need to stop. Oh my, I just keep talking and getting nowhere. Um, yeah. Yeah, well. Tea was, anyways. But for the next week, I'm sorry I went off there on all kinds of things and they didn't even get to any part of it. And there is another man that I came across recently to me. I, I think he's alive, but I'm not sure. I've not been in touch with him for years and years. And he was quite sick at times, but not like uh, terminally ill. Um, and, uh, well, who knows? I do hope he's alive. But I've dreamt about him so much lately, like last months. Not so much, but uh, sometimes, and they have been very intense in communicating um, dreams. I'm a little bit surprised by that, or like not surprised, but curious about what what is this? this. And yeah, he he was really very caring, uh, and had a yeah he had a, he had a great place in my heart. Um, yeah. But anyways, for the next week, uh, to not um, be hasty or like ill-timed action, they c- that can cause danger. It says, and uh, yeah. Um, back to the whole trusting there was someone also who not very long ago told me to that to kind of make a decision to trust but that's not in my way in my world a decision I can make it's it's uh, it's there or it's not there you know and as I said in some in some ways even though someone tried to convince you to trust them you still do know better I mean you know and and they don't know you know and then yeah well i mean yeah <laughs> i just mean i'm just I'm sorry no one should listen to this soul saturday <laughs> what are the nourishment for this soul here i need to stop doing this video even hopefully someone asks for a free personal rune or something for the coming week so that i can uh, like uh, wash over this quickly because uh, I've promised to keep them up for a while <laughs> you hear the reason why I don't want to also um, yeah but also to examine our motives you know what is what are our motives even if uh, it's not to be like good it's for the reason of actually knowing ourselves if we then then we can be authentic in in whatever way it is you know so, yeah, and uh, yeah, okay, so enough of that, I didn't give much advice and that was good since we should listen in words to our soul and our greater selves, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of want to go on but I don't know what to say um, as I mentioned I've ordered this uh, Aradia deck as well 
I couldn't I couldn't uh, resist when I saw that it was so beautiful. I mean that have been out there for long, but I did miss it. I haven't seen it before. And uh, now since I started reading from this the, that old text, I was like drawn to that deck as well. But I have way too many decks. You should. Uh, honestly keep the things that you actively use i mean that if things are uh, used then they have an a active vibe and and it's lively and it does not get dull and heavy and stuck energy and all that so so it's not really healthy to keep and hang on to a lot of things not used and so I'm glad I'm using the runes a little bit more like with you now. I actually picked some runes for myself for, I don't know, for how long, maybe, maybe not six months, but but for quite some time every morning. But I kind of stopped with that for some reason. Um, I think I picked two runes every day then for a while. And yeah, realized I really, really love the runes. And that's when I started also to see them out in nature more or not only in nature everywhere actually in patterns and as well as you can do with those uh, the, you know s- other symbols like planetary or so on you can detect them here and there <laughs> their meanings yeah um, and also if things are symbolic or simplified symbolic uh, it's easier for Sometimes for spirits also to give messages through your third eye. I, I continuously come back to this whole spiritual, spiritual. I probably will do like um, Monday messages and uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be hasty then. <laughs> and see if the spirits even want to convey something through me. It seems a little bit awkward to do that though in a video. I mean I would uh, write down beforehand so that I won't be... Then I would be like super slow which could be good ASMR wise. But uh, I think I will try and write it down beforehand and share it if so. We will see if they want to. Otherwise (laughs) there will be no Monday messages. But that would be kind of fun also and also hopefully helpful for someone. Um, and then we will see. Then I have all days covered. And why do I do this if I should examine myself? It's for the fun of it actually very much. And um, also hopefully that I connect with you more. I like that. Yeah. And then maybe like... We will see. Still, that's enough for now. I like Monday messages tools Tuesdays and if you are drawn I mean want to kind of steer me a little bit into some direction what to concentrate on just let me know or even in this whisper Wednesday and this Friday friends Friday <laughs> I don't know it's so it's, it's sort of silly I know that but I kind of like that still oh. and um, yeah so then I can focus a little bit on those subjects or if it's something special you want to talk about or ask or yeah whatever um and i'm sorry also about this latest uh, themes thursday because uh, i started out the wrong i heard the name newt and therefore i printed that and instead of newt and therefore it came about this uh, thelema version or, or like things at first but I read the other part as well yeah that's what wha- was what I was going for this ancient uh, perception of it but still yeah there are so many interesting things it's never enough how can anyone ever be bored I don't understand <laughs> yeah well and, and even without the net and all I mean just the, all the books out there and everything 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 this world is rich mm. and then I don't mean you rich <laughs> you are the world and luckily you also do a lot of videos now which is awesome I love that although there are some of them that I still need to catch up on I think especially since I can 
sit and do my own videos all the time I need to make them a little bit shorter so I can listen more to yours mm, and uh, any of you who make videos would love to listen more to all right um, that's that and here the quote that I talk about that is in, on here as I said is and those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music As usually, most. No, I say it wrong. Then <laughs> much, much love. I was going to say most love of all. No. Well, okay. So, so sorry, I'm getting so, way too silly. Um, we will.